up to two weeks and I'm going to prove that to you guys. Day number three. Oh. If you haven't read the title of today's video, which I think you should because it's literally right there. Today we're going to be talking about all things press on nails glowy ones to be exact and everything that you need to know about them because i am obsessed i love press on nails they have been my i've always loved getting my nails done i find that it's a really nice form of pampering i'm pretty sure getting my nails done is like my favorite form of self-love i'm not even kidding like i love a fresh set on my hands and it just makes me feel so fancy and fresh not to mention i used to drive almost half an hour to my nail salon every three weeks and spend an unreasonable amount of money that me and my bank account are still recovering from. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I hate sitting down in a chair and getting deaf glared by my nail tech because I'm taking too long to choose a color. Anyway, one day I said enough is enough and I decided to try out press out nails for the first time. And honestly, I am never going back to a salon ever again. Like you will not catch me at the nail salon. Nope, nope. I'm gonna be at home in the comfort of my own presence and no deaf glares. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have been obsessed with these for the last year and a half and I love sharing them on my story and my posts. Every time I get a fresh set on, I'm just like, look at my nails, guys. Hello. I just love showing these off. So today I am dedicating a whole video to Glowy because I wanna show you guys how much I love them. And I am so incredibly grateful to mention a massive thank you to Glowy for sponsoring today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. I wanna open up this little bad boy first cause I just got this in the mail. So I'm so excited. I mean, I already know it's inside cause I picked them off the website, but I'm just really excited about opening a box. I don't know, it's like Christmas. Your nail blow up is awaiting. I love opening up a nail box from Glowy because it means that my nails are about to be the best looking nails in the whole of Australia right now. Like. I love getting a little message from brands. I don't know why, but it makes my whole entire day. Like this little card. I'm gonna be thinking about that for the rest of the week. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. They are so gorgeous. I ended up picking out all of my favorite staples from the website because I love a natural nail vibe. Like I'm not too much into the bold kind of colors. I love keeping it simple and calm. <gasps> Let me show you what I got. So these ones are super long nails. I love these. They're very glamorous. These are called Sweetener and they're like an ombre kind of vibe. Love them a lot. These are another favorite of mine. They have been plastered all over my Instagram, which you guys would know if you follow me over there. These are called Eye Candy and they are just so gorgeous. These are the style That Girl and they're like a long French tip style. And I love these a lot. Such a great neutral vibe and then these are similar to the other ones i've shown you but they're a little bit shorter and a little bit more oval these are called angel energy and i am obsessed and then we've got coffee date these are perfect for autumn i am obsessed i am going to be wearing the heck out of these in autumn and it's very close it's only like a month away and then we've got Lee madam they're just a shorter french tip style and i am obsessed with these these are my ride and dies i wear them all the time and i think i'm going to pop them on in today's video because i'm really feeling the short style at the moment and I find that these are perfect for my kind of busy lifestyle my busy hand lifestyle so I'm gonna be popping these guys on today because as you can tell my hands are in desperate need for a glow up the thing I love about glowy is the fact that everything that you need is inside these little boxes here I love that the convenience okay so let's open up this little box because i'm going to be popping on the la madams today this is our little nail box so cute by the way so once you open up the box it comes with all the instructions here on how to pop the nails on but i will be running you through how to do that on camera so you've got all your little nail sizes right here in this little tray we have a cuticle pusher very important a nail file that is very essential must have we have a glue and if you don't want to use glue they also have the option of using sticky tabs which i sometimes use but i'm more of a glue gal like you're either a sticky tab girl or a glue girl, there's no in between. And then an alcohol pad, very essential. I find that this is like the key to your nails lasting a very long time. Now that that's all out of the way, let me show you how I pop these bad boys onto my hands. I actually have very small nails and for the longest time I've actually struggled to find press on nails that fit my tiny little fingers. So the front ones are usually the ones that fit my fingers. So I just like to put them all 
in one little area and that way I can find the right sizing. So they actually have little numbers on the back of the nail. I don't know if you'll be able to see that at all, but it's right at the top there. So I usually go a three or a two. These are a two. They're looking pretty good. I could probably go a three though. So where's a three? So the three sits a little bit tighter and you can see a tiny little bit of my thumbnail, but I like the fit more than the two. I just feel like the two is probably too big. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the three on my thumbs. Yeah. I'll basically go through the nails and just kind of lay them out in order. So that's my thumb. Okay. Now that I have gone through and sized up the nails to my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my nails because that is very important. I gave them a trim last night, so that's probably the first step you should do if you haven't already. But I just like to go over my nails as well and kind of buff out any old glue that I might have on them. And also just to make it more of a rougher surface because if your nails are too shiny and too smooth, then the glue has trouble sticking to them. You wanna have a little bit of grip on there. And then I'm gonna grab my cuticle pusher and I'm just gonna push back those pesky cuticles because we do not want them showing. They need to be pushed back to their place. And then once we have done that, we're going to open up our little pad and we're just gonna go over the nails just to ensure that there's no excess oils left on our nails because I find that this is like a key step to making sure that your press-ons last a very long time. Never skip this step, otherwise you'll regret it. So I just grab a tiny, bit of glue and I'm gonna pop that onto my thumb first. I don't know why but I just do my thumb first. I'm not sure why. And I just use the edge of the glue nozzle just to kind of spread it around my nail evenly and then I'm gonna grab a little thumbnail and I'm just going to press it down onto my nails. And I just press the nail on for maybe like 10 seconds, maybe. I don't really know. I get really impatient. I don't even know how I survived in a nail salon. Like I'm already impatient with this. Like, and voila, we have one nail on. I just repeat that process for the other nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. everything back in the little case because then I can close this up and pop it in my handbag in case I accidentally lose a nail. You gotta be safe, you know? It was that easy. Like sometimes I just have to sit there for a minute and really take it in that that only took like five minutes. Like, whoa. Also, you don't wanna get your hands wet after the application process because you want the glue to dry and settle in without it getting wet. So do all your wet activities like your dishes, washing your hands, have a shower before popping your claws on. Now that we're looking fresher than ever, like look at these nails. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so obsessed with them. I just wanted to tell you why I love these glowy press on nails so, so much. So sit down and let me share my wisdom with you. As I said before, no more nail salons. You do it in your own home with just yourself and it's so, quick and simple. It took me no longer than five minutes to do these. And also no more nail salons is more than ideal for me because my germophobic self says no. Secondly, the packaging is so cute and reliable. Like I can just pop this in my little bag. Like off I go. These nails are also reshapable, which is amazing. So you can choose whether you want squares, ovals, almonds, whatever you're feeling, you can change them up. I love a bit of customization. Like love that. I personally love the little oval look. I feel like it really elongates my fingers and I love that so much. Like if I'm not looking like a Therizinosaurus, then I don't want it. There is also no damage done to your natural nail, which is amazing because the amount of damage that's done from acrylic nails, both on my nail and mentally, don't even want to talk about it. If you do want to remove these nails, Glowy have so many informative videos on their TikTok and also so much information on their website, which is amazing because you're not stuck with these. You can take them off and you're not going to ruin your nail. And because they are so easy to take off, you can even choose a different nail any day of the week. Like I could have a different nail style every single week and I'm not mad about that. They're also reusable for life. So once you take these off, you just buff them out with your nail file to get all the excess glue off and they are ready to be used over and over and over again. Be for real right now. Be for real. But you wanna know the best thing about these nails that absolutely sold me? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Drum roll please. These bad boys, oh my God. These bad boys last up to two weeks and I'm gonna prove that to you guys. I'm gonna run you guys through a durability test and then I'm gonna give you an update every day for the next two weeks and I'm gonna be checking in with you guys to let you know how my nails are going. I mean, I already know that they're reliable because I've been using them for a year and a half. I just wanna prove to you guys. So it's the second day of having glowy nails on. I let them sit overnight, you know, just so the glue can see it. There wasn't any water to get in the way of that process. I'm gonna be testing out my nails and what better way to do that than run it through some durability tests. So first up, we're gonna be using a can. This is pretty simple to open for someone who doesn't have fake nails. Like how do I do this? How do I get under there? So I'm just gonna open. Ooh. 
nails are still on guys and now i get to have a nice refreshing sip <laughs> test number two is washing my hands now you might be thinking to yourself shelly what do you mean washing your hands how is that hard well obviously with press on nails the water can disturb the glue so i'm just gonna wash my hands with some salt still got Still our nails on. Now that that's out of the way, my next test is typing on a keyboard. That's really hard to do with fake nails on, so let's put that to the test. Testing out my nails from Glowy. These bad boys you can type with. Day number three, obviously still going strong, looking amazing. Okay, day four or five. I've already forgotten what day it is. Still going strong, still got all the nails on looking fresh i promise i'm not naked i have clothes on but this is day five I'm about to go to work so i'm just really showing you my nails here are the nails still looking amazing oh, in love i think it's day seven i just made myself some rice and nails are still on looking good <laughs> like day 11 i have lost count i really don't know nails are still on and i'm just gonna open this can to like oh we're still going strong okay it's almost night time which is why the quality looks so terrible because i almost forgot to film this day but nails are still looking good this one is feeling a little bit loose but she's still on baby <laughs> okay so i sat down to do my makeup this morning and my little pinky nail fell off that's okay i'm just gonna quickly glue it back on because it's just easy like that. Grab our little compactable glue here. Look how small that is. Oh my gosh. Pop a little dollop onto my nail and rub that around. And we're just going to press that down and hold him for a couple of seconds. And voila, our pinky nail is back on. One more day to go and we've only had one little mishap. So that's pretty good. It's day 14. It's been two weeks of glowy press on nails and look at those bad boys. I did tan my hands last night though, so don't look at the hands. Look at the nails. <laughs> Let me do a tapping test. Are you ready? That hurts my fingers, but we're still... This is two weeks. In all honesty, these are probably going to last me another week. Like, they are still going strong. Also, I just want to say how my birds absolutely love a scratch when I have my press-ons on. Press-ons on. My birds are constantly begging for a scratch when I have my nails on. They are obsessed with them. Why is it nice? Is that a nice scare? Overall, I'm so happy with these nails. They make me feel so feminine, so glowy. Did I just? That was unintentional, but it worked. It worked. They just make me feel so good. And I can't believe I've only been using them for a year and a half. Like, where have these been my whole life? I always get so many compliments on my nails as well. People are always like, oh, where do you get your nails done? I love seeing people's reactions when I tell them that these are press-ons. Like, it's always so funny. I honestly don't know where I would be without these. Like, they don't only save my bank account. They don't only save me time and energy, but they also save my skin. These stop me from picking acne on my face, which prevents scarring and acne itself. So that's amazing. I think my favorite thing about these nails is the fact that they're reusable. Like I could take these off and put them on again next week. Like that is amazing. I love that so much. If you've gotten this far, let me know which one of these is your favorite, including the ones on my hands. Take your time, but let me know down in the comments because I would love to know what style is your vibe. If you haven't already, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe down below so you can let me know that you enjoy my videos and also support me. And without further ado, I am going to love you and leave you guys. I will see you in my video next time I upload. So ciao for now. Yeah.